So I haven't checked the air intake yet. Let's see if anything's in there. What the heck? How did this even fit in there? I think, I think there's more. Twix, how did you get in there? There's, there's more. Here, put him down. A baby? Hey everybody, I got a product review for you today from my sponsor. Uh, this is an air inlet cover. And so this goes in the front and this will protect the area where air comes into the cabin and try to keep leaves and debris out. So let's see what's currently in that area and see why we might want to upgrade and add this. So you can see right here you have these slots and these are supposed to protect the area where the air comes into the cabin and you have uh, your air filters behind this. Um, but the problem is that these are pretty big gaps here um, and things can get through. This part that I'm about to show you is to help with that. So let's open the box. It just comes in a plain box, no markings, and that's it. You just have the cover. Now, already my complaint, there's no directions. There should always be directions, but I talked to them. They said uh, when they ship these in the future, there will be directions shipped with them. You can also use my video as a guide, but um, you know, all these kind of things, in my opinion, should always have directions with them. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is take this piece off, and it's just held on with some clips. So you can just pull it off. You can see it comes off really easy. Go to the other side. Pull off that side, and there we go. So nice and simple. So here are the vents. Uh, that is what's protecting the, you know, the inlet for your, your air coming in. So those are pretty big gaps. If we compare it to the upgrade here, you can see a lot less room for debris to get through. Okay, so here's the opening. We can get closer to it. Um, if you look here, I have one little thing up here, but not actually in where the air goes. And this is where the air goes. So I don't see anything. And if I see if I can fit my camera in there without losing it. So that's about as far in as I can get. You can see there's a little grate there, and I'm not really seeing anything. I don't see, you know, any leaves or anything like that. So we can go one level deeper, and we can take these off. So you got four clips here. You just pull on that. Those both came out. And there we go. So now we can get in here a little better. And we can see, uh, there, I just set that there. You know, there's some little dandelions in there. Um, but not any big huge leaves, which for me is surprising because of where I live. Always driving on dirt roads, lots of leaves everywhere. I thought this thing would be packed full, but there's really not much in there. But if you need to clean yours out, that's how you would do it. You could just, you know, take this piece off. So I'm going to put this back on. So that's all clipped in. This one is not. Okay, so now that's all clipped on. This part is supposed to go right here inside of this foam, right, just like that. And you can see there's some adhesive on the edge here, uh, and you just take off this strip and you can stick it on. But first, I am gonna clean up this area so it sticks better. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. I turn the car on, the air's running, if you can hear it. When I put my hand here, I feel air being pulled in here, which is where it comes in. Um, now, some people may be concerned that this would restrict airflow. Uh, I don't see that happening. I see a few holes here I need to punch out. Um, I'm just gonna set this here without sticking it on. And yeah, it's very obvious that the air is still being pulled in there. So this isn't blocking any airflow. There's a lot of holes. And when you go over here, you don't really feel anything. I mean, there's a very light kind of suction going on. Um, and over here is where the majority of the air is being pulled through. And it feels fine. I mean, air is coming through there. I don't think this is going to block anything at all. Let me turn it up to max and see how that feels or if it sounds like it's struggling or anything. All right, this is cranked up to max. I turned recirc off, so it's pulling air from the outside. And air is really pulling through. If I pull up on this, yeah, you can see that it is being pulled down. So let's, so yeah, a good amount of air. I mean, it's not gonna make a vacuum seal or anything. But if we put this back on, 
Yeah, it's, it's pulling it onto there. So with this restrict airflow, uh, I don't know. You know, it's possible on the highest setting that a little less air is getting through there. Um, so it may be something to think about. All right, so I've been letting this run on max for about five minutes now. Um, and the cabin is super chilly. The car's not having any problems. So I think we're all good here. I'm not gonna worry about this, but I did wanna try this out just in case anyone was concerned. Uh, I personally think it's gonna be fine. Okay, for the install, very simple. We are just going to take off the tape here that protects the adhesive after cleaning. There's that. I'm just going to stick it on here. Give it a little press. You know, even without this adhesive, I don't think this is going anywhere. But that's all right. And there you go, it's stuck. It's stuck on there. All right, the only disappointing thing for me is now we got to cover it up. I think it looks really cool. I'd love to be able to see that when I open the frunk, but I don't want to leave all this other stuff open. Okay, so we're all installed. So this is product for every Model 3 owner. I'm not so sure about that. I mean, even me always driving out in the woods, leaves all over the place. I really didn't have much in there. Um, but it is nice to kind of have the peace of mind that nothing now is going to get in there. It's more protected because uh, it was something I thought about when I saw those large slots. Um, so let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, if you think you're going to pick this up or you think it's unnecessary or, or whatever. I'm curious other people's thoughts. If you're interested in this product, I'll have a link to the Model 3 part shop and you'll get this percent off. Uh, I'm not sure, they didn't tell me exactly how much yet, um, but you'll get that off. I'll also have a link to Amazon. You can get this percent off if you use my link in the description uh, and pick it up from Amazon. I do like that it's pretty cheap. Uh, it's a really inexpensive improvement for your car. Um, so for me, it's kind of like, why not throw it on there? Especially like I've been saying with all the kind of debris I have around me. All right, well, I'm gonna clean up this area a little bit more since I'm out here and I'll see you in the next video.